Well, we had a severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warnings. We had an emergency broadcast that interrupted all our uh, radios and stuff, telling us that there's a tornado watch or something like that going on. <laughs> and the storm rolls over us, lightly drizzles for 15 minutes, and goes away. Clear skies. <laughs> so I've been raking the pond out of all the weeds at the bottom most of the day. My hands are raw already from pulling on that rope, but I think I got the majority of it. Got to do a little bit more. I went inside as soon as, you know, the severe weather warning uh, came through. Whenever, when the storm looked like it was about to hit, we heard that there was huge hail coming, big rain coming. <sighs> Didn't even have to stop working. I could have worked through it all. There wasn't even any lightning and thunder. <sighs> but a little bit of rain helps. Gotta mow the lawn tomorrow. And tomorrow, so I'm filming this on the Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. And Tuesday, we're scheduled to go back on the road. So, be back to work. But here's what our pond's looking like right now. I think it's looking a lot better than it was. Remember it last year? I don't know if you guys remember it from last year, but it was all filled with gunk and algae on the top. Now there's nothing, it's perfectly clear. The water itself, I kicked up a whole bunch of uh, dirt from the bottom, so the water's not so clear right now, but here's all the weeds from the bottom that I pulled up. And we've raised the whole pond up about, maybe about a foot, a foot and a half, somewhere in there, between a foot and a foot and a half, 12 inches, 12, 15 inches. Still got the pump going down there. I'm pumping strong, 35 gallons an hour to there. It takes a while. But yeah, it's just, it's just dragged it all up onto the shoreline for now. But it's pretty deep down here. I'm thinking it's probably about six feet deep in the center. I've got a big log right there that I pulled up with the rake. Got to pull that out of there yet. But so I've realized now, now that I figured out where the bottom is, because I've been raking the bottom. The shallow end is over there. You walk in there and this is the deep end. So whoever dug this out, dug it out sort of like a pool. Shallow end over there, deep end over here. So down down here, it's probably about six feet deep, I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe more, who knows? But all those weeds that were growing in the center there, they're all on the side here now. I pulled them all to the side. So it's, it's ready to go for a dip. I, I might even go in tonight yet. I don't know, now that it's clearing up, we got the sun coming out again. I have my trunks on. Maybe we should go for a dip. Huh? I wanted to rake it once more, but that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work doing all this by yourself, especially when you're an amateur like me. <laughs> but I'm starting to miss the truck too. It's gonna be nice to get back to work and get back on the road. Truck should be safety by now and all ready to go. Hmm. The only problem we have up here is that the, the mosquitoes are just absolutely nuts. Alright, this is very slippery here, gotta be careful. Oh, 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 that water's nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, see, that was the. I don't know if you can see it, there's a stick in there. That was the marker, that's where the water line was when I first started filling it. So it's probably more than, let's see, let's put my foot beside it. It's all the way up to my knee. That's how much we've raised the creek already. I mean, pardon me, they've raised the pond. So that's probably uh, oh, almost two feet. Nice. It's looking good. I'm really excited that that those things actually worked. <laughs> I was kind of had my doubts, but here we are. I just need a faster pump. That's all. More than 3,500 gallons an hour. I need one that's like got a three-inch pipe on it, gas-powered, 10,000 gallons an hour. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe next year or the year after. This is working for now. It's it's just taking like five days to lift it up two feet. So, 
be nice if we could do that in like 12 hours. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's good to swim in. You're out in the center out there, I can't even touch. So it's at least six feet deep there. Well, I'm five foot 10, so it's a little over six feet deep and I think it gets deeper the further out that way you go. We have a swimming hole. Oh yeah. Oh, that is so nice. Woo. <laughs> we did it. Oh, that is awesome. Even here, like, I can barely touch here. Oh, there's a log under there. Oh, I have to pull that out yet. Whew. So all that money and effort didn't go to waste. I'm going to the house right now to see if Britt wants to come too. At least she can come and see it now that it's finished. I could probably drag it a little bit more. There's a little bit of seaweed at the bottom yet that I could feel in some part, in some parts. That'll just take eh, another 15 minutes. So it's the next day, the day before we leave again. Got the lawn nicely, freshly mowed. I'm going to quickly go check on the pump before we leave. I'm gonna go visit my mom for a little bit. Uh, the other side of town. Didn't get the whole lawn mowed today. Didn't have time. So I gotta finish the outside of that uh, sliding door yet, right? And I finished the inside, I just gotta finish the trim, but I gotta do the uh, brick molding and flashing on the outside door there yet. Might have to wait because it's underneath the, uh... oh, I can't think of it now. Underneath the roof, the rain never hits it. So I don't gotta worry about it actually damaging anything. Just to finish it, I might have to wait till next time I'm home. Even though I've had almost a, about a week at home, still can't get done the few projects I wanted to get done. But we did get this done. So that's good. Still doing good down there, bud? Oh yeah, she's still ripping her. Sucking the water from the creek. Blowing it into here. Hi there. Wish we had time to go for a swim today yet. I might go tomorrow. I think I've only got to leave. I should probably try to leave by noon. So I might be able to go for like a late morning swim tomorrow. But look at that. See that chair over there where we have the uh, pumps for that? It's getting close to that. Another couple of feet and I'll have to move that further up. All right, let's go visit mom. So what I'm going to do with this pond though is when I go on my next trip for however long I'm gone I'm shutting the pump off completely so that Brit doesn't have to worry about checking on it because I go down there and check on it every hour or every couple of hours when we're at home and if I can't watch it for a while I turn it off right don't want it going down there for too long without being checked on uh, so so Brit doesn't have to worry about that she's got her own things to take care of I'm going to unplug it and that's going to be a test for me to see if that pond stays at that level or not, or if it goes down quickly. Taking the wife mobile. Complete with wife. It's me. I'm my girl. And a seat really close to the steering wheel. Let's move that back. I usually warn you about not breaking your kneecaps. Right. You always say, yeah, I know. Yeah, I... So I don't even remind you anymore. Mm-hmm. I'll figure it out. Close the garage door behind us. Everything's locked up. Yep. Gonna go visit mom. Wait, did I lock the back door? You want to go around and check? Probably a good idea, yeah. You want me to go around and check? Sure do. Gotcha. Got lip gloss put on. Very important. Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> and I know, uh, last couple of videos while I've been at home, like usual, are all over the place. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. I don't film a lot when I'm at home. I just enjoy being at home. So I was home for about a week for a little bit of an unscheduled vacation. And we're back on the road right now. We're gonna be hitting the road in tomorrow's vlog. And uh, people want to talk to me here. Probably because I 
turned my camera on. That's when everyone else wants to talk to me, it seems. Diesel. Does it feel good to be back in the truck or what? Tell the good people. Tell tell the good people. Give them a good wave. Good wave. You don't you don't want to wave? That's rude. <laughs> Feels good to be back here. Uh, so I don't want to tell you which way we're headed yet because I want to save that for tomorrow's video. But uh, I had a really good time at home. I just wanted to show you today uh, the progress we actually made on that pond. I was actually pretty surprised with it. Uh, that little pump. We could probably use another like two pumps like that. <laughs> but it took pretty much the full week to raise it up. And I think we raised it up about two, two and a half feet which was perfect. You saw me jump in there. It was a, it's a great swimming hole. It's all ready. I, I raked out all of the weeds. Uh, we put in uh, uh, some stuff in there to get rid of the mosquitoes and stuff around there, though it didn't help because the mosquitoes are just nuts this year around our place. Uh, and those aerators to get rid of all the gunk on top, and it turned out really well, and I wanted to show you guys that, that we had some success. We don't always have success, but with the pond this year, it was a success. So other than that, uh, I guess we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me these last couple of days while I've been showing you random clips of here and there of what I've been up to while I'm at home. We got the drywall done. Uh, we got to paint it yet. Uh, we got an outdoor plug installed in the back of the house. We got the pond uh, fixed up, ready to go swimming. And what else did we do? We mowed the lawn twice? Yep. And we went to go visit my mom. Didn't take the camera inside with me there, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you just gotta enjoy your family and hog them all to yourself, right? We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're trucking. You gonna be there? Better subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Back to our regular trucking content.